Yeah. So, good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, as last session, we have seen how to create a data model in Oracle Fusion, and over there, uh, how to well, link the, those data model to a report template, and how to view our report. And with that, we have also seen how to create a parameter in our data model if we want to use any kind of filtration. So for uh, today's topic, we will see how to customize your, our standard data model and report. Then we'll see the job, ESS job creation for a custom report and also bursting. So I'm starting with the standard uh, customization of data model and template. So for that, we'll first go to our instance. So as for our any customization of report and data model, we know we need to go to report and analytics. So on tools, we will see this report and analytics. Instances with a slow. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, to customize our standard, which is a seeded report uh, by Oracle for report and data model, if sometimes requirement come to customize those standard ones. So for that reason, we need to first take the uh, report and data model in our custom folder of the instance. So how we can do that? First, we need to copy the whatever the instance link will be there. Just copy till dot com slash. And write it over here, XMLP server. So this is our XMLP server. We'll go to catalog. And we'll come to shared folders. So as it is a standard one, so there is no need to go to custom folder. We'll directly go to, so you can go to finance, as per the requirement, if it's a financial report, AR report, go to finance model. If it's a purchasing one, go to procurement module. So we can see for finance model, any report, we can just see how to customize it. Then suppose uh, these are all the modules under financial payables, payments, receivables. So we can go any of the modules. Let's suppose go to payments. So over here, you can see these reports. So first, what we will do in the XMLP server, we will customize our report. We will not do anything with our data model on this XMLP server. So suppose that this is one report payables payment register. So we will just click on more option and we will customize it. We'll click on customize. Automatically, it, it will uh, bring me in this page of that you have seen in normal server also the editing page when it comes. So it will automatically bring me over here. So again, what we will do, again, we'll come to our normal instance, which we are using and we'll refresh once. Yeah, 
Now what we'll do, we'll come to the custom one because whenever we use this customization in this XMLP server, automatically in our normal link, that particular report will just go to exactly on that same path, except one custom will get added on that path location. So we will just click on expand of custom and we'll just come to exactly the same path which we went for the XMLP server, that is financial. Then we went for payables. Then we went for payments. So as you can see, this report, it came. That is payable payment register. And if sometimes what, because this is a demo instance, so if sometimes already that is existing, and again, because you don't know it is existing or not, if you are moving this XMLP server and you're clicking on customize, it will get an override. That's no problem. And again, we'll come to this back option. Now, this is the report we have taken the backup in a custom folder. Now, to take the backup of a data model, we don't need to go to the XMLP server. We just need to come to the exact standard path of a normal instance link. So, what we will do, we will come to shared folders, then we'll come to financials. This is the step for the data model. And then again, we'll come for payables. Again, we come for payments. And this was our report, uh, which we have taken from our XMLP server from the standard folder. Now, as we understood that this is the payables payment register. Now, if we go to our data model expand, so this particular, uh, the, the, that particular report should get linked with this payables payment register data model. And sometimes if we uh, don't know exactly what is that data model name should be, we can just uh, click on this uh, report. We can just click on this edit option. As from name, both are same. Now I'm understanding that that should be the data model link with this particular report. But sometimes if we don't understand the what exact data model name they have provided, so we can just hover over here and we can see the exact path. What is that? This report is linked to which data model. So I have say I'm seeing it is financial payables payment data model and payables payment register data model. So again, I will go to catalog. And I will just click on data model. And this was my data model, payables payment register data model. So to pick up the standard data model, we just need to click on more and we'll just copy it. We'll just click on copy. And now we will go to our custom folder. That is financial. Payables, payments. So now, as you can see over here, already I'm having that report. Now I want to paste the data model. Now it is according to us. If you want to paste your data model on this path, it is fine. If you want to create one data model folder inside that you want to paste it, that is according to our choice. It's no hard rule that we have to go to same path and provide that. Only report will automatically come on the same path that it is there in the standard folder. That's why we click on customize. So we can do one thing. We can create one folder as data model. And I want to keep it over there. So that other uh, data model also I can keep it. So we'll, I will create one data model folder as over here. Now I want to expand this so we can check once the path you are in correct path or not. Now we'll click on paste. Yeah, so our data model came. Now before starting editing, once we will go to our report, we'll click on edit. So as you can see, when you're clicking on edit, we are hovering over here. Still, this report path is on the standard path only financial payables payment. It is not custom is not there. 
because we have customized our standard data model from the XMLP server. So this path will be still in the standard path. So we need to change this path to a custom one. So that because we uh, we will uh, do some customization. So this path should not be a standard one. So what we'll do, we'll first go to search. And as you can see, this is shared folders finance. So we'll click on again share folders. We'll go to custom. And uh, from here, we'll go to financials. Then our was payables. Then payments. Data model because I have only one who have created that folder and I know this is our custom path. So I will choose this data model and click on. <coughs> sorry, I will click on OK. So it got saved automatic. Uh, it's an auto saved. So you can just click on once to save. Now you can hover it. You can now see this is custom. So now. Now, as for our requirement, if the requirement of a client is to change our standard data model, some logic or some columns we need to add or we need to add some uh, extra data set. So now we can go for edit and we can make those changes. And if sometime requirements come for the report changes, we'll go on edit. Uh, more or less the report template basically it states for the standard template. So whenever we require that there should be a uh, customization on a template of a standard report. So basically first we will click on edit and our standard report template will get downloaded in whichever for, uh, part it is active. It will get uh, downloaded as active. If it's an Excel, it will get downloaded as an Excel. So if we click on edit, that path will get downloaded. Uh, so we can check once if we click on edit. So you can see this is an RTA format, so it will get downloaded. So now if we want to change, make any changes, we will do it over here and we will save it with some different name and we'll go for add new layout. We basically don't change this uh, standard uh, report path. What we will do, we'll click on add new layout as we have done a, um, a last session to how to upload a report. We'll go for that. We'll upload that our uh, edited uh, report. Then we'll go for view a list option. So over there, those two report will come and we will uncheck this checkbox and we will make our edited uh, customized report checkbox as enable. So what will happen? So whenever our customized report will run by default, our editing report will get run. So we basically don't change the standard report uh, layout. So this is the process of how to do a, a, a customization for standard data model and report. Now. Any question on this? So in this case, we don't need to bring it in the custom folder. Uh, sorry, we uh, will sorry, do come. all the changes in the shared folder. Yeah, yeah means, shared. Uh, in this case, uh, we will. Uh, Means uh, we will not bring it in our custom folder. We will be doing all the changes in the sh shared folder only. No, this is the custom only. No, shared folders custom. I have bought all the thing in my custom yeah. folder. Then I will start doing the changes. Yeah, but when we develop a new report, your voice is breaking. Means when we develop a new report all together. In that case, we, we develop the report in my. Yeah, 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 correct, correct. If you develop your own customized report, we go for my folders. If something uh, we de develop because my folder is a local folder, nobody will see after your development is done perfectly, then we bring it to a shared folders or whatever in whichever path we need to keep. Basically, we keep it in custom only so we can keep it. But for standard report also, we need to bring uh, those files in a custom, then we can edit it. For customization report, there is no use to bring in custom, then start the editing. There is no such rule. Now it is clear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is here. I have one question here. Three. Suppose you did the customize, right? When you choose the standard report and you uh, do the customize, right? And customize bringing this particular report in the custom folder, same location in same folder like financials, right? Suppose that the folder is not available, so it is create the folder or how it, it will work in that sense. 
No, uh, basically, when I went to XMLP server, that is the reason for report uh, to bring the standard report in our normal uh, link of instance. So basically, we create on custom. Uh, it automatically create if the folder is not there. Also, automatically will it will create a folder and it will uh, bring on the same position as it is there in the standard path. That's why uh, for report we go for customization. So that's it. Bring that exact folder in our normal server also in our normal link. It it will create okay, a folder. Perfect. If it folder is not there, it will create. Okay. So we are done with this topic. Now let's see how to create an ESS job creation for a custom report. Suppose for do do that also we yeah, will go. Puja, 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 can stop recording and then restart so that we have different recording for this. No, no, we just just one thing in that. Before we move on to this, uh, you have saved this in the uh, same folder, but now you know all the changes and all that you how you do it. How I do it? Uh, like uh, this is our folder. This is custom. So we'll just click on edit. For the this is a report one. So for report, I have shown you this RTF template. Suppose I'm opening this template. So suppose this is a standard layout, which Oracle mm. is having. Now suppose you don't want this logo of Oracle, you want your company's logo. So any changes we require, we'll, we'll do those changes and we will again do a save as option. We'll save as our report some with other different name or according to our requirement. Mm -hmm. Then so we'll, this is just a template change. Yeah, this is for right? the template change. Yeah. But what about the query change? If something query has to change, be added. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Query change, we have to go to data model. Uh, just a second. Because uh, we have also taken the data model, we'll go on edit for this data model. Yeah. So this is our standard, which is Oracle already having. So inside this, whatever changes you, we required, if you want to add some first inquiry or whatever this is our requirement, you can go for that. You can add our new data set also according to our requirement. You can take up this query notepad. You can see that the column which you want that is missing, we can add that. So according to that, we can make those changes and again we will save this query and again we, we have to link because if you are adding some extra columns, not a logic extra column, then again you have to link your report with a data model because already one extra column got added that will not pop up in our template. So we have to link that data model again with our report. If you are adding some condition, there is no requirement to link a report with a data model It will get linked. So this are if you want to change this in show, the data show, model. Yeah, understood. Show show the linking also, please, once more. Okay, linking once more. Yeah, sure. So this is our report. We'll go on edit. Yeah, this is the over here we do as you have seen for when we first we have done that was that time it was a standard path. We hover it and we change it to a custom path. Now again our data model got changes. So again what we will need to do just click on search. And check your path you are there in same path or not. If you're not there go for your exact path and select this data model once again and just click on OK. So your updated data model would get linked up with your report. After that, you can go for your change template. You can add your new layout and you can make those changes. In viewer list, you can choose if your 10 templates are there, you want by default that third template will come first. So according to that or requirement, we can do it. If you want to default your format, you can do it. You want. Yeah, sorry. Yes, sir. And from where we can get that uh, uh, server link? Where you clicked on customize? Achha, that ser server link, uh, nothing. Uh, just uh, suppose you, you will get your instance link, right? Each company has that instance link. Just copy till dot com and just click on new tab and just paste that. After that, write XM 
LP server. So automatically that link uh, that uh, instance will get linked with XMLP server because you're copying that same path which you're having. Just write it XMLP server and click on enter and it will get to that same instance which you're working okay. on. OK, just for rip, just to bring the report standard report, we go for XMLP server for data model. As I have shown you, you can go to that standard path in just to have to copy and you have to paste it according to your requirement position. Path. So now, now it is done right. with this topic. Okay. So I'm stopping the recording for this. Okay.